Some invite people to Prosecco Tuesday, others end the week with Wine Time Friday. Well, not here, unfortunately. Alcohol is apparently more commonplace than the exception in the official residence of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. This is suggested by numerous media reports that Downing Street does not deny. It is this booze culture, that means the drinking culture, that could now bring down the head of government. Because even during the lockdowns, when strict distance rules applied, employees met repeatedly for a social exchange, including drinks at farewells, Christmas parties, or in the garden of the famous number 10 property. The country is currently eagerly awaiting the result of an internal investigation. Will top official Sue Gray, who is leading the internal investigation, personally blame the Prime Minister for breaking rules, which would, would lead to his resignation? Well, she probably won't comment on anyone. Political commentators are divided on how far Gray will go for it. But it already seems certain that she will condemn the booze culture in Downing Street. For days, top politicians from Johnson's Conservative Party, such as General Secretary Oliver Dowden, have been promising to completely transform the culture at the seat of government. The PM doesn't have a drinking problem, but number 10 does, former top official Sonia Khan told the Guardian newspaper. Drinking according to a schedule, a wine cabinet in the office and refills by the bottle with a trolley case. The report of alcohol consumption in Downing Street have caused ridicule and outrage across the country. About 50 employees are said to have been regular reminders of wine time Fridays <laughs> as an official appointment in their electronic calendars. Another team invited to Prosecco Tuesday. Was it the rainbow team? Um, in December 2020, a 200-pound wine cooler was even delivered. Employees regularly filled up the 34-bottle container at the nearby supermarket. They dragged the drinks into the building with a trolley case. The newspaper The Times quoted a Downing Street insider saying that the party continued until late at night. Some people slept off their hangovers on sofas in the building and in the mornings the cleaners had to pick up empty bottles of desks, it said. The Times stressed that the booze culture was supported from the very top. Johnson himself has repeatedly encouraged drinkers to let off steam, as we could read in the mirror. Alcohol has long played a role in political London. Johnson's role model, Winston Churchill, was famous for his consumption. The Prime Minister and World War II winner drank a shot of whiskey with tonic in the morning. Ooh. Secretary of State Liz Trust, who is considered Johnson's possible successor, regularly invites wealthy supporters to fizz with Liz with sparkling drinks. Politicians, journalists and lobbyists meet for a pint after work in pubs like the Red Lion. Okay, I don't have anything for a pint after work in a pub. One of the most important whispered topics in the Bermuda Triangle of Westminster between Downing Street, Parliament and Ministries is who drank where with whom. Similar scenes can be observed in many capitals. Alcohol also plays an important role in politics in Germany here, I don't deny that, but not in the government buildings. A political Ash Wednesday, strong beer tapping, Oktoberfest are must attend events for politicians. Yeah, and Schützenfest here as well in Carnival. But other times I don't drink. But the lockdown parties on Downing Street are breaking the tolerance limits of many Britons. Almost everyone knows someone who died from COVID-19. Millions adhere to strict social distancing rules for months. And many Britons take it personally that those who made the rules apparently did not follow them themselves, but even celebrated with a lot of alcohol. The scandal has sent Johnson's poll numbers plummeting. The highlight is an email from his office manager Martin Reynolds on May 2020 to around 100 colleagues. The employees should make the best of the beautiful weather and meet in the garden after work for drinks at a distance. But it is a request which was most appalling to me is bring your own booze, and that, but it's already legendary. Also important to Johnson's fate is 
whether he knew about the invitation and whether he knew when he walked into that it was a party. Well, he, he strictly denies both. He claims it was a working meeting. So YouTube takes a time until merch shows up on my merch shop on YouTube, but it is in my shop for quite some time now. There is a shirt that could have helped him with the work meeting stuff to get him out of trouble. If you want to have a look, have a look there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.